Hi, this is Alex Masichev of Intuilion, the developers of Dita 2 Dita CMS. In this video, you'll see how MS Word and Dita can become friends to let you get the best of the both worlds. For years, MS Word and Dita have been traditionally perceived as rivals, as mutually exclusive options, as representatives of two different universes. Today, I am going to prove you that it's not necessarily true. I am going to show you how you can get the best of the two worlds. You'll see how MS Word and Dita can be friends so you can get all capabilities provided by Dita while staying in the authoring environment you got used to without having to deal with elements, attributes and structures of Dita and XML. Let's consider this scenario. We are moving to Dita. Our legacy documentation is in the MS Word format and it's going to be converted to Dita. Once it's in Dita, we'll have to use a Dita editor to update the converted content and create new content. Or maybe there is another way to do this. Maybe we won't have to make the move to Dita that radical and force authors to switch to a completely new authoring environment. Let me show you something. This is our Dita2 Dita CMS. If this is the first time you see Dita2, Dita2 is a full-blown Dita content management system that provides everything you need to author, manage, review, translate, and publish content. One of the features that Dita2 provides is an ability to automatically convert MS Word documents to Dita, especially if they are inconsistently or poorly formatted. We're now going to take this document and convert it to Dita. Dita2 is now splitting the document into individual topics recognizes the information type of the original content, converts the content to data concepts and tasks, assembles the map, and uploads the converted content to the central content repository. The conversion is now completed. We've got a folder for concepts, another folder for tasks, and one more folder for graphics. We can preview one of the converted topics. We can also check the XML source of this topic to make sure that we've got a standard valid data. Tasks also work properly converted. And now, we're getting to the question, what we're going to do now when the content is in Dita? The natural answer is to use a Dita editor to update this content and create a new one. But natural doesn't necessarily mean the most effective one. There is an add-on to MS Word called Content Mapper. It's developed by our technology partner, Simply XML. With Content Mapper, the authoring experience is much like what you have in MS Word. You do not have to deal with Dita elements. In fact, you might not even know that you're using Dita because the ugly but useful Dita XML is under the covers. Directly from Content Mapper, I can open topics and maps stored in the Dita2 central repository. I'll open one of the data topics that we've just converted and upload it to the repository. The 
the topic whose preview and XML code we saw is displayed, and we can update it. For example, we may want to add a new paragraph. Or we can add a bulleted list. Or maybe we want to add one of the images stored in the content repository. When we are done, we will just save the topic. Content Mapper recognizes that the topic we are modifying is not currently checked out and kindly suggests to check it out. We agree and the topic is now saved. To prove you that it's still Dita, I'll show you the XML source of the topic from Dita2. This is the topic that we've modified. And you can see that it's still the standard valid data. This is the new paragraph that we've added. These are the bullets. And this is the image. We can also create a new topic. And Content Mapper allows us to select the information type of the new topic. We may want to set up multiple structural templates and pick up the one we need for this particular topic. For example, this is a default template for new tasks. Content Mapper is a really powerful tool. What you've seen in this video is a tiny fraction of its capabilities, and it's tightly integrated with the Data2. To learn more about how Content Mapper and Data2 can help you, please contact us. We'll be happy to talk to you. Thank you.